Do you ever find that you take on other people's stuff? That's a technical term. That if there's a lot of heaviness around you or people are upset that you wind up wearing it? Well, if you do, then you've got to really make sure that you take a little extra time to take care of you and to let go of all that. Recently, I spent a lot of time in a hospital because I, I had a family member who was in there. And that's a place where there's a huge amount of heaviness, a lot of heavy emotions, a lot of upset and so on and so forth. And if you're at all sensitive, just walking in there can be a real challenge. I mean, my hat's off to people who work in those environments because it's, it's an ongoing challenge. But this happens all over the place in the workplace. If you are dealing with a workplace that can be a little bit toxic, if you're dealing with a boss or a coworker who can be particularly annoying or you're dealing with bullying, a lot of times that upset or things that are happening around you, you can wind up wearing even though um, it's, it's not yours. I mean, science is just starting to catch up with why this happens. That apparently we've discovered that we've got a second brain in our bodies, it's in our hearts. And that heart brain, the electromagnetic field of the heart is way bigger than that of anything else in your body, your brain or anything else. And it extends out at least eight to 10 feet in measurable terms around your body. And if you take quantum effects into account, it's, it, there's, there's no limit to that range with people you've been in contact with before. And what happens is it's just like a tuning fork. If you take one tuning fork that's of a certain frequency and you bring here another one of a similar frequency and you hit this one, what's gonna happen? The other one will start to resonate. So if you don't know how to protect yourself from all of the stuff going on around you, uh, you're gonna pick up all their stuff, okay? So now, there's a lot of ways that you can do, protect yourself from that, but what, what I'm gonna focus on today is how you can let that go, a really simple method that I found to let you release all of that other people's stuff that you've picked up, because even if it's family members, you're not helping them by taking on their stuff. It doesn't resolve their issues. You're taking away your resources because you're not as resourceful. So now this method, you know what? I've got no scientific basis for this, but to me, science is, if you can produce an effect over and over and over again, in the same way you've proven that it works. That's what a scientific method is. And that's what I've done with this method. A, a friend of mine taught it to me and I use it regularly to release other people's stuff. That's part of my challenge is what helps me work with people is my ability to empathize and to be able to connect with them. But that can also result in taking on some of that stuff. And I've used this regularly and I've, every single person I've shared this with has gotten similar results. So, you know, while it might sound a little out there, what I encourage you to do is try it out, see if it works for you. Be scientific about it, apply the scientific method. And it's really simple. What you do is you run a hot bath and you put in two cups of sea salt, not Epsom salts, sea salts, okay? And then you've got to stay in there for at least 20 minutes and you will find all that stuff, all of that goop, all of that, all the other technical terms there are for it will just lift away and you'll be able to breathe. It's amazing how powerfully this works. Have no clue why, but it works really well. Try it out if you're an empath.